No fucking way. Swag all the honey, the dab all the budget. Flicks until the sunset. Honey got me buzzing. With or without a condom, I'm the one you should fuck with, baby. Shake it, shake it, make it, shake it. Jigga yo, what's good, broskies? It's your boy Ronnie, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're doing another episode of Avatar. This time, we're doing The Storm. Hopefully, hopefully, Aang has finally started making his way to the Northern Water Tribe because I feel like he's been getting distracted a lot. So, without wasting any more time, let's get into the video. Piazza? Why did you disappear? I didn't mean to. Yo, is he okay? You seem to be having a lot of nightmares lately. You want to tell me? Oh, this it? isn't the first time it's happening, huh? You guys want to hear about my dream? That's no okay. one's interested. I didn't want to talk about it anyway. Well, we better smoothly fly ourselves to a market because we're out of food. Guys, wait. You guys this are always out of food. We hey? go to the market. Are they gonna find him at the market? storm coming we know the avatar is traveling northward so we will do the same Prince Duke, oh is that how he's keeping up the, the crew the safety of the crew doesn't matter he doesn't mean that he's just all worked up this is like how mutiny starts happening out of food and out of money now what are we supposed to do you could get a job smart guy we shouldn't go out there Please, the fish can wait. My joints say there's going to be a storm. A bad one. Well, it's your joints against my brain. Oh, Sigo's gonna get stuck he's in the storm. And he's paying double. Looks like your uncle was right about the storm after all. Lucky guess. <laughs> Lieutenant, you'd better learn some respect. The way you talk to everyone around here, from your hardworking crew to your esteemed uncle, shows you know nothing about respect. <sighs> Agni car? Easy now. Enough. I don't need your help keeping order on my ship. You do. Everybody respects him more than they respect you. Well, I'll be a hog monkey's uncle. You're they the know avatar, ain't you? They know That's who he right. is. Well, don't be so smiley about it. <laughs> the avatar disappeared for a hundred years. It's not his fault he disappeared, right, Ang? Aang? What's wrong? Okay, my guy, what's going on? Keep flying. I think he's feeling guilty okay. for being gone for a hundred years. Way out of line. Actually, he wasn't. What do you mean? I'm hundred percent worried about Sokka right never now. Never forget the day the monks told me I was the Avatar. Oh, it's called the Air Scooter. <laughs> But this guy was a prodigy, hey? Okay. Yeah, the tattoos mean that he's actually like a high level you know bender, right? We have known you were the Avatar for some time. The toys you picked were the four Avatar relics. These items belong to Avatar's past. Oh. I fear war may be upon us, young Avatar. So in general, he was supposed to master things way faster than any other avatar before I'm tired of chasing his avatar and we're gonna get a full backstory on zuko i would love a full backstory on zuko I to understand my nephew is a complicated young man i'm gonna rule this nation one day don't you think i need to start learning as much as i can bro he looked so happy back he then promised not to speak like he used to actually smile before what better to use as bait than fresh meat you can't sacrifice an entire division like that. Those soldiers love and defend our nation. How can you betray them? Is this you? What's going on? Now that you're the Avatar, it's kind of an unfair advantage for whichever team you're on. But I'm still the same. Nothing's changed. Yo, this must suck. Very interesting move, young one. The Avatar should be training. Aang has already trained enough for today. Wow. As long as I am his guardian, I will decide when he trains. After Zuko's outburst in the meeting, the Fire Lord became very angry with him. 
And there was only one way to resolve this. Agni Kai. A fire yeah, yeah. It was the Fire Lord whom he had disrespected. Zuko would have to do his own father. Yatsu, I know you mean well, but you are letting your affection for the boy cloud your judgment. You and Heavy I must be separate. Is the crown. The Avatar will be sent away to the Eastern Air Temple to complete his training. How could they do that to me? They wanted to take away everything I knew and everyone I loved! Whoa! Hot centers! I'm not going to let them take you away from me. Eh? He ran away. That's how you got stuck in the storm. He ran away. If you what? stayed, you would have been killed along with all the other airbenders. You don't if know we're that. being honest. I know it's meant to be this way. Or maybe we would have gone into that the mode of his and literally and fucked people hope. everybody up. You will learn respect and suffering will be your teacher. I looked away. Why is this girl smiling like this? He was banished and sent to capture the Avatar. Only then could he return with his honor. Why would you want to go That's back to a dad like this? Help! Oh, please help! It's okay, you're safe. But my husband isn't. Oh, are Why they married? Where's Sokka? No fucking way! Yo, I hope. The uh, Avatar. What do you want to do, sir? Let him go. We focus need to on get your man. <laughs> Guys, this, yo, does he still need to go to the water place right now? Because yo, this kid is good at water bending. And I need you to do something. Ang, 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 come on, come on. Let's go! They make it look like their feet are intertwined or something. You're alive! I'm done dwelling on the past. Really? I can't make guesses about how things would have turned out if I hadn't run away. I'm here now and I'm going to make the most of it. Ah! Yo, what an interesting, interesting, interesting episode. I actually loved this episode so much, man. I think it very much puts a spotlight on like what Aang has emotionally been going through, which is like oh hey i kind of feel guilty for the fact that i disappeared for a hundred years and with that old man i think it kind of sort of also spotlights that there are people out there who actually are like yo it's great that you're back but why did you disappear like you disappeared for a hundred years if you had just stayed we wouldn't be in this position which is sad which is really really sad but they are valid in saying that it was a good way to introduce his backstory a bit and speaking of backstories they also like brought in zuko's backstory and this balance that they're always doing between antagonist and protagonist i feel like they're handling it so so well the writing the writing in this show is unbelievable right now i think this episode kind of does a great job at humanizing Zuko I think for the longest time you've just seen him as oh I want my honor I want my honor and it just made it look like this glory thing like he just wanted the avatar for saying that he won for the sake of capturing the avatar but like there's a deeper emotional thing of okay cool the person who gave him his car is his dad and he banished him for actually doing something that really 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 isn't that disrespectful to me like yo bruv you are willing to sacrifice for our nation soldiers that isn't okay like the kind of person zuko was is 
just he did a total 180 in terms of personality man he did a total 180 what a great 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 show ah but tell me how you feel did you like this episode did you not please hit up the comment section and let's have a conversation but other than that thank you so much for making it this far like and subscribe and join the family see you in the ah, in the next one peace